right, in this video we are gonna make multi-view drawings. That means we're gonna take our cube and we are gonna represent it on a sheet of paper as a two-dimensional object. Now, why would we wanna do that? It's because engineers, architects, and other designers end up using multi-view drawings to design and then to build the things that we see around us. This can be anything from super small things like uh, computer components all the way up to large things like homes or buildings or even skyscrapers. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing you're gonna need to do is take one of your cubes from the previous lesson. If you haven't done that, look up here so you know how to do those. Every single three-dimensional object has a front. So just pick a surface and label that as your front. Directly above your front, is going to be a top. And if you go back and look at the front, every three-dimensional object has a side. And this just so happens to be the right side. That's as far as we're gonna take it for this one. So there's a front, a top, and a side. Next, you're gonna need to get a sheet of paper and you are gonna need to fold it into quadrants. So your first fold is just like a hamburger. And then you're gonna fold it like a hamburger again. Unfold this guy and now you've got, again, an XY axis. Next, take a ruler and a straight edge and now we wanna just make these lines or axes more visible. So there's my x-axis. Here comes my y-axis. And now it's time to draw. This quadrant, lower left, absolutely has to contain the front view in a multi-view drawing. Go ahead and label yours there as well. Then, grab your cube that you previously had made, set it right in this place, so the F is facing up, and you can just go ahead and trace that shape. All right, after the big reveal, I am just gonna go and clean up these lines again, tidy these things up, and uh, get myself some nice, clean, sharp looking lines, just cause my trace wasn't what I would call phenomenal. All right, so there's my first two-dimensional shape. That is the front view of this three-dimensional cube. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler or straight edge. We're not actually measuring anything on this particular drawing. And I'm gonna line it up with the edge of this square. And I'm gonna create what's called a projection line. So I am projecting this up into this space right above it from this edge. And now you see me sliding over to this next edge. So I've projected those lines up there. Basically what that means is I'm taking this three dimensional cube and I'm sliding it up in this space. I'm gonna rotate this so that I can see the top view and trace this into place. So now right here is my top view. I'm gonna use my ruler in here to tidy this up. Yeah. 
Now I've got a top view. The only thing I need to do is label that top view. All right, the last view, if you remember, I'm gonna come back to my original, my front view, also known as the most important view. And what I wanna do is project this over, and this is gonna be, rotate, rotate, our side view. Our side view is gonna go in this space. I'm gonna go ahead and label that. This works much the same. I am gonna start out with what are known as projection lines. That means I'm lining my ruler up with this drawing in the front view, and I'm carrying these dashed lines all the way across, and filling across this side view space. This is gonna come across as well. And that gives my cube a path to travel on straight across. What some people will do wrong in a multi-view drawing is shift a view up or down. But in engineering and architecture and all those different fields, it's important to go completely straight over. I'm going to rotate. I am going to trace the edges of this shape. Gonna use my straight edge to tidy this thing up. And when I'm finished, I am going to have a completed multi-view drawing for a geometric cube. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There's your isometric. Oop, there's your isometric. We have a front view, a top view, a side view. That's a multi-view drawing for a geometric cube. Thanks for watching my video. If you've enjoyed my content, please hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.